So we're doing an oil change. I swear I'm helping. I'm, I'm not doing I'm just a photographer. You're the director. But I will not be on film because I'm in pajamas and a robe and slippers. So. Okay. Uh, do you know how much oil your bike needs? No, I was going to give you a funny guess and then I didn't think you'd think it's funny. Three liters. Oh, okay. I was going to guess four. You know, your your card has six, so. Okay. Half the size of your car's motor. Uh, do you, expensive oil change. Do you know what we're we need for your oil change? Oil. And a filter. So BMW recommends that you use this. You don't have to. Okay. So I'm putting this in. As long as it's the Jasso 2 stuff. Which both of these are. They're both the same weight. Um, this is right here. You know what this is, Heather? That is. Nope. This is what you use to take your oil filter off. Oh, okay. And here's your oil filter. Okay. I knew we needed one of those. We have a couple of different tools here. Uh, the biggest thing you're going to need, Heather, is this. And this is why you're dating me. Okay. This is a module called a GS911. Uh, it's available from different websites, uh, Beamer Shop, Twisted Throttle. This allows you to reset the... How expensive is that? $400, I think. And how much does an oil change cost? Um, okay, real quick though, Heather, do you know how many drain plugs you have on your bike for your oil change? Probably like two. Good guess. How many oil drain plugs do I have on my bike? Mm, four. One. Mm. So um, under here, here's your oil filter. Yep. And then underneath you've got a drain plug. There's another drain plug inside of your bike. Here are your, your torque values. You can pause if you'd like. And then here are the steps. And again, you can uh, you can pause if you would like to uh, read these. It's 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 you know this is your oil change service. Oh, there's a second page. Don't worry. There we go. I don't know. I don't know what a drain plug looks like. That can't be it. There can it? No, that's not it. Oh, there it is. Right there. Okay, so uh, it was actually a lot of work. This is actually a T50. A lot of work to break this seal. I'm kind of glad that I did this part. Sorry, Heather, but I just wanted to make sure that, like, we didn't strip that Torx. So the T50 Torx, I've already broken the seal. It's ready to let loose. So we're going to move our uh, our drain over here. Oh, sorry, my man. sleeve keeps getting in the way. I'm sorry, guys. And uh, now this is the problem. As you guys can see, we have a lowered suspension F750. And so... Heather here in the actual chain. No, there isn't. I, there, I swear to God, the long blonde hair from your chain. Well, that's okay. They're going to continue to see my sleeve and glove pop up. All right, here we go. Are you recording, Heather? Yeah. Just squirts everywhere. No, it just drops down. And there's that. Sweet. Now, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but there is a crush washer in there. It has to be replaced. Um, after every oil change, we have a replacement crush washer here. That's draining out just fine. There's three liters in here. There's gonna be a secondary drain plug that once this uh, fully drains, we're gonna hit that secondary drain plug. There we go. You know, back in the day, people used to use oil filters a lot, but now you're supposed to use a trimmer every time. Um, so, real common mistake for people that are new to doing their oil changes, do make sure that you, um, that this came with you, this gasket, because sometimes people, sometimes what happens on accident is the gasket will stay behind inside of the uh, hole here, and then you put the new oil filter on, so now you're running two gaskets. And when that happens, obviously you're gonna have oil leaks, or seepage from the uh, oil filters. And no oil got on our thingamajig. Now we're going to... The exhaust? Yeah. We've got this. I'm just going to get a little bit of oil here. Loop that up. Obviously, don't make, make sure that you're not cross-threading. And that could even be too hard. But basically, you just don't want to go too crazy. 
All right, sweet. Oh, and uh, turn this upside down with a little drain out of it. While we're here, uh, real quick, so this is your um, your drain plug. You will see there's your washer right there. And then right here is a little magnetic uh, bit. Um, it's always good to clean this off before you put it back on there. This is just getting some of the shavings. This oil is not too black because um, this is just a break-in 600 mile service. In here, there is a second drain plug, M5. And we're just gonna try to, oh, there it is. Wow, it's right really close. So we got a five millimeter hex on the end of this uh, thing here. And it's supposed to be <laughs> not very tight. Are you putting the plug back in or something? There we go. Oh. There is the other liter-ish. That little teeny tiny drain plug right there. And also you've got some more of that uh, magnetic stuff in there where you can get in there with some cloth to clean that out while this is draining over there. So now we have this drain plug here. This is the top one. I'm just gonna quickly uh, clean this out a little bit. Oh, it's not magnetic actually, which is great. So that one's just completely clean inside. We're gonna lay down here on the ground again. We're gonna own a lift. We're just gonna snug this one up. Uh, Eight Newton meters is roughly hand tight. Now, do not cross thread this. So we got that other one in. Obviously be super careful guys not to cross thread. Start by hand threading this in so you don't cross the lower, the lower drain plug. Grab your T50, get that rolling. And you can hit it with the, uh, the wrench. Our lines that were on the bike in the factory did line up. Then once more, just wipe that down, any excess oil. And now we're done with this, we can get this on the way. All right, so I like um, I like this thing here just because you can measure out your um, your liters and then drain it. This is really for the dirt bikes, like the dirt bike only has like 800 milliliter capacity. But here is your, uh, your um, topper plug. Also, the built-in dipstick, which is nice. There's a little bit of dirt there, and so we don't want to get any dirt in the motor. I'm going to um, put this back on. And just clean that a little bit more. <laughs> yes. Okay, all right. This is off to a terrible start. I don't know. What the fuck is it? Well, this is your shifter, but this is your quick shifter element. Oh, okay. Oh, this is what we're doing the 600 mile service. So close. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really not a stupid person. Well, it's been years since you've ridden. Months. All right, so we're going to do our leader mark. Is it a problem that you're mixing brands? Nope. You can mix brands so long as they're the exact same spec. And wait. So why would anybody go BMW if it's more expensive? Well, if you go to a BMW dealer, they're going to... Tell you that it has to be BMW. Well, they recommend this, um, that it's not required. Uh, next step is for people that have GS911 is going to be uh, resetting the oil reminder. So what you're going to do is you're going to press here and we're going to get this guy up. This here is an OBD2 connection. Uh, so you're going to basically get your GS911. Those of you with brand new ones are going to have an OBD port here. The ones with the old one, you got to buy this adapter, which I bought. That locks into place. This goes on like this. Sorry, I'm in your way. And then uh, you've got a wireless connection where you can uh, go into GS911 and reset your service reminder. But no, that's pretty much so. There, that's, there's a whole break-in period. This is just the oil change. Uh, if you want to do the break-in stuff, you can Google that. But basically, it's just checking steering head, steering head bearings, uh, checking spokes if you have those on your GS Adventure, uh, just checking a bunch of different stuff, uh, checking chain tension, uh, oil, loop the chain, check brake pad wear, check for any leaks, coolant leaks, that kind of thing. I do have some BMW coolant, so I will check your coolant level. 
um, before we end this, but basically that's, that's pretty much it for the oil change. So uh, we put in three liters. I put in initially 2.8 liters, and after I ran the bike for 30 seconds, uh, I came back. It was showing full on the dipstick. Ran the bike for 30 seconds, came back, and it was showing empty. Not empty, but like just under halfway. So I had the other 200 milliliters, right? Yeah, 200 milliliters, and let's see where we are now. So bike is down on its side stand. There's no center stand on the low of 750. Now, when you've got your dipstick here, you actually want to like really clean it, like really get all the oil off of it. You want to put the bike dead center for a few seconds. Let it chill out there for a few seconds. Take the dipstick, insert. Don't screw it down, just insert. Take it out. And you'll see here we are at middle point on this thing. Put it back in, then you can screw it in. Dead center is where you want to be. And the difference between low and high on this thing is 0.5 liters. So low and high is half, all half a liter. So if you're low, and you want to be mid at 250. All right, let's try this again. Reset service reminder. Perfect. So you see here, so the uh, service was due at 638. It's actually 472. I hate servicing bikes literally a week after winter ends. So we're going to uh, reset the service reminder to 6,000 miles. Boom, very done. Thank you for watching. Heather uh, didn't do a lot this time, but here's the thing, 6,000 mile service, um, which is still just an oil change and uh, a few other checks, she's gonna be doing that. And then at 12,000 miles is the valve check. I'm not quite sure yet if we're gonna take it into the BMW dealer or not for that, but um, oil changes are super easy on this bike, as you saw. Uh, air filter's a little bit harder to get to. Oil filter was easy. You know, if and, and just do, do your checks, just make sure things are looking good, but it's a brand new bike. No calls for alarm. The oil looked really nice. Thanks for watching. Ride safe and take care.